Hi, this is the Pony Preschool, and today we're going to teach you guys about grooming our ponies. This is what we do to make sure we're taking care of them, keeping them healthy, keeping them clean, and making sure that we're just keeping track of everything that's happening to their bodies. We want to make sure that we're grooming them so that they know they can trust us and that we're friends with them. So this is an important part of riding and taking care of ponies. The first thing we're going to use is a hoof pick. It's funny looking, isn't it? It has kind of a softer part and then a hard part. And this is gonna clean out the horse's feet, their hooves. They have one, two, three, four of them. It's a lot of work to clean all those out. What do you think is inside their feet? Dirt. Let's find out, dirt. All right, we have lots of helpers here today. So we pick up a foot and Kristoff is holding his foot up so nice for us. And then do you wanna show them how to do it? Go ahead. She'll use the pick side and try and pick out all that dirt and mud. And there's probably poop in there. Blech. That's part of the job though. You gotta do the dirty work so that we can have fun with the ponies. We wanna make sure we're cleaning their feet so they don't get any boo-boos in there. And so that their feet stay nice and healthy because their feet are so important. Their feet is what they use to walk on. If they can't walk, they won't be feeling very good and we can't have fun with them either. So this is a very important part of taking care of ponies. But this is also very dangerous because this is their feet and their feet can kick and stomp. So it's important to use a grown up to help you do this. Our ponies are good and have learned that they need to stand for this part and they need to hold up their feet. So Kristoff is balancing on three feet right now. One is up, one, two, three feet are down. That's some hard work, isn't it? Good boy, Kristoff. We can show you a back hoof. Your turn. Then my turn. Good job. Sometimes there are rocks in there. We want to make sure we get those rocks out so it doesn't give him boo-boos inside of his hooves. Ouch, have you ever stepped on a rock? That hurts, doesn't it? We don't want our ponies to have rocks stuck inside their hooves. So their hooves are actually hard and they grow like our fingernails do. So they have to get their hooves trimmed just like we cut our fingernails. Isn't that cool? A guy called a farrier, or a girl called a farrier, comes out and cuts their, their hooves for us and trims them and makes sure that they're all balanced and that they can walk really well on them. So right now we're cleaning the bottom of the hooves, which is hard underneath of the mud. And the middle part, right in here, is called, here, let me use this a minute, there's a triangle part, beep, beep. That's called the frog. I have no idea who named that. But this part in here is called the frog. So silly. Next, we're going to use a curry comb. It's shaped like an oval, kind of like a circle, but a little bit longer. See if we can find some curry combs in here. Nope. Nope. <gasps> Kennedy found one. This is a curry comb. This is what we're going to use to brush the ponies next. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, that's not one. There's one. Do you want this one? And I can use this one. This one is shaped like a circle. Curry combs can come in different colors and sizes. We have some small ones and some big ones. And mine's a circle with more pointy teeth on it. And they're kind of soft. They're not too pokey, so it won't hurt the horses when we brush them. But this is what we're gonna use to get the dirt off of them. You ready? Oh, there's Kristoff. He has a lot of dirt on him. Let's see if we can brush Tulip over here. She's waiting so nicely. When we use a curry comb, we go in a circle. So we make a circle on their back and on their belly. And we kind of push a little bit hard, not too hard, because we're always gentle with the animals. But this creates up the dirt on their backs and on their hair so that we can get them nice and clean to ride them. And this keeps their hair nice and healthy and their skin nice and healthy. We wanna keep them healthy, right? Take care of our animals. Yeah, that's important. So we'll use these curry combs and Tool is probably saying, oh, it feels good. Have you ever gotten a massage on your back? A back rub, a little tickles? It feels good, doesn't it? That's what it feels like to the horses when we do this. They love it. Look, Tulip says, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. See, we're making friends.
friends with her. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at her little lip twitching. She says that feels good. <laughs> good girl. So we'll do all over their body, not their faces. We don't do their faces with a curry comb because that can hurt their face or their eyes or their nose. So just their big body, right? You we'll see there's hair coming off and dirt coming off. And then our next step will help us get the rest. We'll show you what's next. Next, we're going to use a brush. There are some soft brushes and there are some hard brushes. When we use brushes with our pony preschool small kids, we just pick any brush. But usually you would do a hard brush first and then a softer brush. But today we'll just find any ones we can use and brush up our ponies. Let's see if we can find, that's not the brush. We just used that. That's the curry comb, remember? That's a comb, not a brush. Oh, Kennedy has a brush. I have a brush. Do we have any other ones in here, Olivia? Oh, what color is this one? Pink. We have a pink brush. Blue brush. They come in all colors and shapes too. So fun. Let's go see who we can brush. Who's at the end over here? Oh, poor Olaf is all by himself on the end and he says, somebody brush me. Remember, ponies love to be brushed. So he's waiting his turn so patiently. When we use a brush, we follow the hair, which is mostly going from the front to the back. Sometimes at the back of their leg, near their butt, the hair can change direction a little bit. So sometimes we go up a little bit and down a little bit, but mostly we go front to back or up and down. And look at all this hair coming off of Olaf. Oh my goodness, so much hair. It's shedding season here. So all of his winter hair is coming off so that he'll be nice and cool for when it gets warm outside. It's getting warm out today. So his hair will not be quite as fluffy as it is in the winter. So this is a really important day to make sure that we're gonna brush him. What's that? Is Kristoff ready to be brushed too? Oh, Kristoff, they all wanna be brushed. Just like I said, they love being brushed. <gasps> Show them what you found. All that white hair. Oh my goodness, so much hair. This gets all the extra hair and the dirt off the ponies so that when we sit on them or when we put saddles on, they are comfortable and they don't have dirt that's being squished into their skin because that would not feel good, would it? No. So we make sure they're nice and clean and they look so nice and pretty. And then we can play with them some more. You have pink? Yeah, I have pink too. And we also have a pink helmet. Yeah. We like pink, right? Yeah. What color does Olaf like? Oh. Uh, I think he likes yellow. No, I think uh, real Olaf likes white. Oh, real Olaf likes white because he is white. Yeah. This Olaf likes to wear a lot of yellow. All right, ponies are almost Hi. cleaned up. This takes a little while. We kind of sped through. We usually take about 15, 20 minutes brushing our ponies, which kind of feels like a long time, but it's good bonding time with our ponies. They really like it, and it's a good way to make friends with the ponies. So we'll keep brushing them up a little bit, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya!